Good morning, everybody. Actually, it's afternoon, but welcome to a new reading vlog. Before I get started, if you're new to this channel, please don't hesitate to subscribe down below as well as the notification bell. And today I will be doing the week one of the Bookopathy slash Bookathon readathon for this month. And I'm super excited. So let's just jump into all the books I want to read. So I did a whole TBR video on it already. So I'll leave that above and down below if you want to check that out. But that one definitely goes into all the details of the books I'm planning to read. Um, so I'm not going to like reiterate everything in that video because I feel like that's just extra. What I will do is tell you what I'll be reading for this week so it is october 1st it is 1 p.m and i'm gonna do a quick update before i get ready for my interview in half an hour so wish me luck there um but this is the first book i'll be reading so i'm reading this poison's kiss or poison's kiss and it is by brianna shields it is for my tbr vet i believe it's actually my first role of the entire board but i'm not planning on going in order of the books i chose it's gonna be more of a mood read but i wanted to have something short to start off the month nicely so i can be like yes i finished it and then i'll tackle some of the harder books or like the lengthier books but this book is about a girl who apparently is like an assassin for the raha where for whatever reason starting from a very young age she now has developed the ability where she, her kiss is poisonous like if she kisses someone's mouth they will die but apparently it's only if she kisses their mouth if she kisses like other parts of their body they're fine for whatever reason so it has to be like a mouth-to-mouth -mouth contact for it to take effect and it's not even like immediate it's like hours later they'll start to like you know have symptoms like chills fevers whatever it is and then they die after a couple hours and ever since she was a baby she's been immune and she's been working for the raha also since she's been a kid and turns out i think he's like the one who made her poisonous like she didn't she wasn't born like that but something happened like her her father you know gave her to the raha the raha was like here gave her some poison on her face and was just like if she can come back in three days then i'll take her in and she did like she survived the poison uh overnight and was fine and so he took her in and since then she's developed that like poisonous kiss so now she's about to have another admission from the raha where i believe he's going to ask her to kill the guy that she likes um so i don't know like how that will play out because as of right now i'm on page 45 and i haven't really like i feel like i'm just learning about the characters and learning about like how she developed his abilities what exactly his ability and there hasn't been a lot of mention about the guy that she loves except that there is this guy that she works at a bookshop also on her free time and i think she likes him to some degree but again they've had like two interactions so far so i can't really say this is the guy that she loves so i wonder if it's like someone else later on in the book but i'm enjoying it it's a really fast read it's very easy and simple and also there turns out to be a younger brother who is in need of medicine that's also another way for the raha to like keep her in line because he gives her medicine for her little brother but i have a feeling that the medicine that he gives her is what's making him sick because he will get better a little bit and then he gets not good again so i wonder if there's some like weird thing where it's like this medicine's like slowly poisoning him and so immediately like it'll start to, he'll like feel a little better because it's like a drug or something but then once he like starts to like not have it anymore he gets like symptoms of like um withdrawal and that's how it makes him even more sick and then so she keeps him on this medicine like i wonder if that's kind of the situation happening that's my like initial thoughts otherwise i'm like how else is this guy keeping her in line because otherwise she could just be like i don't want to and just leave so that's my theory i don't know yet but anyways i'm gonna update for now all right so i'm happy to say that i did manage finish reading poison's kiss by Brianna Shields. i actually really enjoyed it it got way more fascinating towards the end it was unfortunately that love interest that i was like mm, a little skeptical i do wish i kind of went more into the backstory in terms of like how she even met this guy and how well they know each other because it just felt very sudden like we met him for like two times and suddenly she's like i think i'm in love with this guy and i'm like there's no backstory like how how well do you know this guy anyways that being said though i did actually really enjoy the overall premise of the story i love the um the flow of the story with the characters and the plot so i really enjoyed it i think i would give that book four stars i might consider picking up the second book which is the final book in this duology just because i'm kind of curious to see like if she'll end up taking the naga down instead so i'm just like curious about that part 
but that being said though i did pick up the next book which is the six olympians uh this was one that i think it was like a um, recent purchase or something like that so this is one that i got recently and i'm curious how this is i just know this is basically a greek mythology but set in modern time where it was like what if titan cronus didn't had not swallow the gods and banished them to earth instead and they were raised as normal orphans or regular orphans and their memories were scrambled until they hit their 16th birthday and now suddenly they're just like what is happening so i'm really curious it says six gods one titan one epic battle I'm a sucker for mythology, so I'm pretty excited for this story overall. But yeah, I'm going to start this book tonight, and we'll see this how this goes. It is currently October 2nd, so I'm doing a pretty darn good job, I would say so myself, um, in terms of my reading pace. So this book is pretty short, so it's another short read, so hopefully I can get this done. Probably not tonight, to be honest. Like, I'll, I know myself. I'm hoping for tomorrow, because tomorrow I think I want to do a kind of like a chill day. I'm going to go to my parents' place, relax. Obviously, also job pump a little bit, but I think I'm going to take it down a notch um and then read this book and maybe just like chill with my parents for a little bit so that's my little update but so far not too bad Time to do a little quick update on my reading before I head to bed because I am actually quite tired. So I am still reading The Six Olympians. I'm on page 134. Yeah, 134. I'm about halfway through. Dude, this writing for the book is so bad. It's probably like like fan fiction level bad. Not probably even worse to be honest. Like it is <laughs> like I'm not a writer I'm not a good writer I don't I'm not the judge of like good writing or anything but even I can tell that this is terrible writing however that being said I am very invested with Greek mythology so I'm continuing on with it but the way how the book is structured the way how the book is written it's like so nauseatingly bad like the beginning so the whole point of the premise is that there are these kids who like got their um memories wiped or whatever they got sent to earth but they're actually greek gods and goddesses and in the beginning they're just like zeus no zach no this is Haley. no it's hera and i'm just like like the amount of times they had to like let you people like uh, the reader know that hey this person we're talking about is actually poseidon or hades or whoever it is aphrodite etc and i'm just like you don't need to like shove this into my head like i know and you have a glossary in the beginning like it's very clear but no like the first couple of pages or even the chapter or two was literally just like them like really drilling that in and i was like is this really necessary that's just one example guys like it was bad like it is bad writing and like and everyone like all the other characters the side characters just like what what's happening like who came up it's atlas what like dude the writing is terrible <laughs> it's like honestly the worst writing i've probably ever read in my read in my entire life um but yeah that being said though like i said i am invested with the story itself because i just want to know like how it will end um and like the powers i get because i'm like curious about that part but dude i have never read such a book with such bearable writing before like how did this book get published i think it's self-published but like either way i'm just like why why did i was i i think i saw this on like tiktok or something a while back and it like intrigued me because i was like "Ooh, greek gods and mythology should not have listened to that self like whoever did that tiktok and recommend this book you're a liar <laughs> Okay, anyways, I want to continue on reading this book because I just want to know what happens, but like, it's bad. Like, I thought Zodiac Academy writing was like, not the greatest. This is like, a thousand times worse. Happy Friday. I'm actually heading out to a date soon, hence why I am dressed up, or 
made up. All right, so I'm here to give you guys a quick update on my reading because I did manage to finish reading The Six Olympians earlier this morning. I just sat there and just powered through it. It was a really easy read, but yeah, writing is still terrible. It's just messy. Um, I did read some reviews after because I'm like, am I the only one? Because so I was right. I looked at the author notes or like meet the author at the back, which I never read, but I was like, who the fuck wrote this book? And apparently it was through a pad and she had like a TikTok fan and everything. So she decided to publish her own book, hence this one. And I looked at reviews on Goodreads and pretty much all the reviews were kind of similar to my thoughts. They were like, it's very messy. It's not organized, kind of chaotic. It was also very confusing. Like all the characters name very confusing so it's all the so basically what she did was like zeus it was a z word so she put zach hades h he's henry like not a lot of creativity involved there which is fine they're just basic ass white like white names um my confusion though or the part where i think a lot of people are confused is that a lot of the names all start with h hades hera and then hestia and instead of having like more interesting names she put henry Haley. Hallie like bro Haley and Hallie are just so similar and then when they start to go into also last names I think Zach name aka Zeus his last name is Hale Zach Hale like why are they all so similar sounding and so when they start calling each other by their last name sometimes I was like who the fuck is he talking about or like what is going on there's also not a lot of distinction between any of the characters so what I didn't like about this book which is very interesting because usually I like first person but this one they all have their own first person chapters and because there's no distinction between any of the characters I was completely at a loss. I kept flipping back to begin the chapter like whose perspective am I reading through right now because they all sound exactly the same like there's no distinction whatever there's like it's very vanilla just very bleh so probably this book is like a one star to be quite honest um and there is a sequel like it ends I have a cliffhanger but there is no future book I don't know when the future book will come out if that will ever come out probably because the reception you have from this book is not the greatest so i don't know but i will not be continuing on the series like i thought it was going to be like a standalone like, that's why i continue with it because i was like oh let me just finish it and then it'll be done but no it for sure is a sequel the way how it ends there will definitely be something whether or not she writes to something who the heck knows but that's my update for there and i started reading the next book which is scarlet by guinevere or yeah one of your cogman and it is a really stunning book i got this from goldsboro so this is one of their previous book from a couple months ago it's pretty short though it's very small it's about vampires and something to do like the french revolution but but vampires involved and it follows a woman who is the contest i think is that's the title but i literally just started i'm like three pages in so i really don't have much and i think she's a vampire or something and there's a bunch of rebellions going on with the people and they particularly don't like vampires because they're supposed to be like the purest royal slash noble lineages out there and they're like against that right now so they're trying to like overthrow all the you know noble people and like the upper class people so they so that obviously includes the vampires and so they're on some sort of like vampire hunt slash killing all the upper class people i don't really know what to make of it so far i literally just started like i said so i'm gonna continue with it but i do need to head out to dinner soon we are going to get dinner at this hungarian place which i'm pretty excited for and then we're gonna go mini golfing which should be interesting because i haven't played mini golf in such a hot minute but it should be fun Oh my god, I look like such a hot mess. Um, update for reading because I, <laughs> I don't think I've done a book this fast before, at least in a while, because I got to page like 11 of this one and I'm DNFing it. It is just so, it did not give me the vibes at all. I was not interested in the book. It's basically like a, con a countess and the French Revolution and vampires and this girl who I think goes undercover to pretend to be Marie Antoinette. And then it's supposed to like rescue vampires and whatever and she goes to like somehow she gets like in the middle of a giant scheme i have no idea it sounded really interesting but i've decided like historical period 
book books for some reason just do not hold my interest anymore i it's weird because i do like historical fiction but not like period pieces if that makes any sense i like historical fiction if it's like i guess more like modern day historical like i don't even know guys i don't know what i'm saying anymore i'm so fucking tired um yeah so i didn't have this book so i need to find out if i need to either re-roll or find another book for this prompt which is to read a book with a building on the cover which honestly is not that hard of a prompt to find so i need to determine that i asked the discord chat so i'm waiting for them to get back to me on that in the meantime though i will be reading bonesmith by nikki paul Preto. this is for my feed scroll prompt so like i said already my tbr video will be above and down below um it's also the six right now so i'm gonna end this video tomorrow night which makes it a whole week so perfect and then i will start another one with a new vlog on tuesday like that's my aim for now um but yeah i am going to start this book tonight see how this goes but unfortunately the scarlet book just did not hold my interest at all i was just super bored and yeah like the idea i think that's also why i just haven't picked it up i think i started reading it i think on friday and then i read like the prologue and i was like is it even interesting and then yesterday i went out with my friend and then i didn't get home till very late um and then i started doing stuff today and then like normally i'm like oh i should read a little bit but i just did not want to read because i looked at the book and i was like i really don't want to read this book so i'm going to dnf it and call it a day while i drink my tea coming back with some happy updates so i got another interview today for thursday and then i had a uh interview this morning that seemed pretty positive we'll see um it's a first round it was like a screening with the recruiter so next round after that will be a quick 30 minutes i believe with the hiring manager and then i have my final round tomorrow for a different company so this week i had I have four interviews and one this morning and then one was impromptu actually she called me and i kind of went through over some stuff so she was like great i think you're a good fit for the next step so i already have that interview scheduled for thursday i have a follow-up from last week for thursday as well and i have my final interview for another company tomorrow so honestly like not bad in terms of the job hunting world but in the meantime i did manage to finish reading this book 12th night this was for my prompt which was to um, read a book with 13 words so 13 words 12 nights and that fits fine i just finished it i actually surprisingly really liked it i went in with very little expectations because i really didn't like the alice six and it's by the same author so i was kind of like i don't know but this is a very like fun vibe it's about this girl who basically is a huge gamer and she ends up like catfishing this guy from school who is a jock he's like a football running back but then he injured his acl and so he was out for the season and so he as kind of a distraction his friend got him on this video game called 12 night and then he meets this player who looks like a guy it's a good guy knight a male knight who has to be played by this girl and because she's a lot of like stigmatism against female gamers and so she has her character as a guy to kind of like avoid all of that stigmatism and stereotypes um so she ends up like pretending to be her brother and the two of them end up like having long conversations and then he ends up like you know obviously like romance ensues guys it actually was really cute i actually really liked the premise of it obviously it was very like cliche and it was obvious where things were gonna head but i still love like the journey of reading it and then how they interacted and their dynamics and their conversations so overall really fun book so four stars for me um, I also am still reading Bonesmith right here. I did get through some of it. I'm now on page 100. So I've made progress for sure. 
I am hoping I can finish this book before I head out for my sister's wedding in a couple of days. So here's hope for that because I really do not want to bring this hardcover with me because I will not be reading this hardcover. I want to bring like a small, I want to bring the Lucy score book. Like that's the book that I'm planning to bring with me, which is why I picked up this book this week so I can like finish this. So that's my goal. Finish it before the day I leave. And then I also need to start packing, but that's tomorrow's problem after this third round interview because that one's kind of like stressing me out a little bit because I have, it's like a panel interview, it's like three hours long and it's with like five or six different people and so I've never had a, I haven't had an on-site in so long so I'm kind of like out of practice so it'll either go great or go terribly like this there's, there's no in between <laughs> so I'm keep getting distracted. I'm actually really enjoying Bonesmith, I feel like it's a very easy read. It's a little cliche with like the writing style and like the premise so far like nothing has really made me feel like oh my god this is such a unique twist right now like i feel like it's very like unoriginal in that sense however i still am enjoying it so far because i like the character she's kind of like that stereotypical like oh my god i'm such a baddie and i'm so cool and i'm so amazing and i can do all this and that and then she ends up, obviously something happens and she's like, wait, I'm being punished for something that's not even my fault. And now she's off to this wilderness, kind of like Game of Thrones, where there's like the wall. Is that what it's called? Like uh, where Snow went to go, like that wall where it's like between like the uh, the north and like them or something like that. Where like the, the, the oh my god, what are they, the winter people. Um... So it's kind of like that where she knows she, she, where she's now at this like breach area, there's a wall area and dealing with life there as like punishment because she didn't do a good job in the trial. So everything is just like very typical. Like I'm not like surprised by anything. At the same time though, like I said, I still am enjoying the character and just kind of like how she's going to solve this problem. And I'm sure she's going to learn some like humility and blah 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 as typical. But... As I said, I'm enjoying the process so far. So it's a very fast read. Um, I'm hoping to finish it, like I said earlier, later this week. And then once I finish this book, I only have two more books left to read. One is the House of Shadows and Flame, I believe that's called, the new uh, Sarah J. Mass book for book three, Crescent City, and then the Lucy Score book. So I'm gonna bring the Lucy Score book with me to my sister's place. I'm hoping to read most of it on the plane rides because it is like uh it's to the other side of the coast and then once i'm back though i might be able to pick up some some more actually you know what maybe i should do another roll because now i don't have a book to listen to okay let me go do another roll <sighs> let's see if you guys can see my screen here okay so i have my two dice roll dice oh my god and it's of course a double why would you do this to me okay so based on the lovely map here i'll put a picture right here for you guys so i'm at chance i rolled a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. it's jason didn't i already have jason why do i have jason oh my god the 13 letters in that title i'm so annoyed okay why did i do this to myself eight okay well i need to go find a book right now and do that one but in the meantime let me do another roll because i rolled a double so here's my screen again you have to be it's another double it's a 12. dude i am so annoyed this was a terrible idea guys clearly a terrible idea okay 12. ghost ghost tour Wait, where is, what does that mean? It's like the central one. A uh, ghost tour. Read a book of a historical element. Doesn't have to be historical fiction, but it can be inspired by history, such as the Red Rising, Will of the Many, apparently inspired by Roman Empire. Okay, I need to go think of something. All right, well, now to do another roll, because I rolled a double. Literally, this is so annoying. All right. Okay, thank God. It's a five. It's a five. All right. One, two, three, four. Dice roll. Dice roll something? Dice roll roulette. 
Okay, roll two times six sided dice. Each dot represents 50 pages. Pick a book that is similar in the number you roll. If you can't find the book to fit the correct page numbers, find a book as close as possible to the length you need. Okay, so I basically need to roll another, another time. And it'll tell me how many pages I need to find. Dude, this could go so bad for me. All right, here's my screen again. Dude, what is with these doubles? Okay, 12. Dude, that's not good. A 12 means I have to read a book that's 575 pages long. Don't I already have that with House of Flesh? <gasps> oh my god. Okay, let me go find this book and kill myself now because why did I do this? This was such, I was like, yes, great idea. This is a terrible idea. This is not the website I normally use. I blame that website. Honestly, I am very impressed with myself for able to find these books relatively quickly. So I got the 13 letter book. I'm gonna read The Glass Bear by Lauren De Stefano. This is the first book in the series. And Glass Bear is 10 and three. So 13 letters, let's go. I have no idea what this book is about. I bought this so long ago that I don't even know this is like my interest anymore, but we'll find out together. And then for the historical element one, I'm gonna go with Heart of Sun Warrior. This obviously has some Chinese um, imperial elements to it, so definitely have that historical element to it. I'm excited for this one. I was able to at least incorporate my original TBR into this one because I think there's only one more book I want to read from my OG. Well, there's another one too, but I don't think that one is... I think I just want to read like the next book in the series. So it wasn't like anything crazy from that list. Then the last book is the very sad 575 plus pages book. Honestly, this is the part that I think want to fuck me up because I'm going to go with Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. This is the first book in her new non Shadow Hunter series, so I'm pretty excited about this one. That being said, it is a very big chunker. It's like 600, over 600 pages. So it's technically just over it, but at the same time, I'm like, I already have a giant 800 page book I need to read. So I was hoping I get to finish these. And none of these books I can read on audiobook. I'm so annoyed with myself right now. Why did I do this to myself? I'm here to end this vlog because it is now Thursday and I meant to end this vlog like Monday night but I got really busy and the last couple of days has just been kind of insane so all I will say is that I had my final round interview I think I did pretty well because later that afternoon like yesterday afternoon I got an email from the recruiter that I worked with um, internal recruiter and she was like hi I hope you all is well I was supposed to, I would like to set up a time to chat so I feel like an offer is coming in soon because why would a recruiter schedule a time to chat if it was a rejection you know what I mean and I'm pretty sure this is the final round like she never once mentioned like there'll be anything else after that so I don't no, but that's like the impression but yeah so the meeting is later to this afternoon and i don't know what to expect so fingers crossed it's an offer but yeah i'm gonna end this vlog here because i did manage to read a lot more of bonesmith i am now on page 216 so i'm halfway through the book i'm enjoying it a lot actually i really hope to finish it today though but honestly i don't know how much reading i'll get done because i have somewhat like back-to-back -back interviews actually starting from like 10 this morning this is my longest like stretch right now of not having anything but once it gets 12 i have that interview and then right after that i have the recruiter call again and then right after like literally right after that call i have another interview so i'm literally in like interview meetings until like 3 p.m so I think it's time right now to just end the vlog here and let you guys know my thoughts for this book i'm actually really enjoying it i think it's really good i think the pacing is great there is a new character that it was introduced her name is julian and i wonder if there's going to be like a romance between her and julian because of just their interactions so far but 
it's very it's definitely like an enemy to lover where they try to kill each other and now potentially depending on how things work out between the two of them because they have now have a common goal and mission that maybe it will like translate into a romance in the future so that's kind of like where i feel like the story is taking me but we'll see but then in terms of like the the bonesmith the magic system and all that stuff i'm really curious to find out more about the world in general because there's so much like history about like the wall and the breach and the the ghost like the undead um and like just a lot of different like political parts to it too so i'm really curious to see like how he plays a role in all of that because of where his background and then how things will just like shift politically based on their like temporary alliance because she's from a prominent family i think he's also has a big sway in on his side so i'm like hmm curious but yeah i think this is a pretty good book so far i feel it's interesting because i feel like i haven't had that many people talk about it like this book really has not that many ratings on goodreads i think it's only a couple thousand which is insane to me because her other series did so well it was like super hyped up on social like years ago when it came out so i'm kind of curious of why like this series just doesn't have that much love even though i feel like it's just as good it's really interesting that has like all the good um components to a good story so i don't know i'm curious but yeah i'm hoping to finish this book today i don't know we'll see i mean i was very hopeful earlier this week like on sunday because i was already like reading through it but it's been a couple days and I'm only halfway through. So I might just like sit down and read this tonight after my interviews and then call it a day because I'm leaving tomorrow morning, very early in the morning, and I do not want to bring this book with me. I will be bringing the Body in the Backyard book by Lucy Score instead um, since it's shorter and it's a floppy paperback. So it will be easy for me to read. But yeah, I'm going to this vlog here. Let me know how you've been doing for this readathon and I will update you guys on what the recruiter says uh, in my next vlog. So I think I will start the next vlog later today um, and then probably just finish it like end of next week or something. So it won't be like a true weekly vlog anymore because I fucked up already. <laughs> but we'll see how it goes guys so anyways that's all i have to say for this video as always if you like this video please give me a thumbs up it really does help on my channel and don't forget to follow me on twitter and instagram and i see you guys next time bye